besties, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I have kind of something crazy, kind of wild, uh, kind of unexpected plan for you guys. So today, I am going to be doing a mini mukbang. So I have a couple of candies right here. Um, and then I also have some ice cream, and I'll tell you guys what flavor it is in a minute. And then I also have a little ginger ale. Along with the mini mukbang, we're gonna be doing a Q and A, so it's gonna be kind of fun, so you guys can, you know, get to know me and such. So I think it'll be a super fun time, and I have it right here on my computer. I have all the questions that you guys asked me, and that's what we'll be using. So I'm super excited to get started and just to get grubbing and just, you know, sla snack a little bit with you guys. And if you guys, you know, want to pause the video, go grab some snacks and stuff, and then join me. We can get comfy. I'm gonna get comfy on my couch right here, and then we're gonna, you know, eat to our heart's content. I think we'll introduce. So the ice cream is. It's vanilla ice cream with just uh, chocolate and peanut butter cups, and it tastes a lot like peanut butter. It's so good though, I love it. Mm. I think this is the only time I tell like peanut butter cups, because I dislike peanut butter cups so bad on like regular. Um, but let's get started. So, the first question is What is your passion? So, that's a very loaded question. I think right now what my passion would be is YouTube. Like I've always wanted to do it for so long. And like doing it right now is so much fun and I'm enjoying it. You know, being with you guys and stuff, it's so good and it's so fun for me. So I feel like that's one of, you know, the bigger things that I really enjoy doing is YouTube. I feel like also martial arts, kind of crazy. I've been doing martial arts since I was four years old, and I'm 17, so I've been doing it for 13 years, about to be 14. And it's something that I've done all my life, and I really enjoy it, and it teaches me a lot of, like, good positive stuff, and it also helps me, you know, stay in shape, you know, how to, you know, defend other people and myself, so I kind of really like it. I feel like it's a good, you know, something good for me, so I think, like, those two are my main passions right now, just because martial arts, I love it so much, and then it's just always been a part of my life, and then YouTube is something new and fresh but that I have wanted to do for so long and that I enjoy doing right now, if that makes sense. So let's get another bite up in here. It's so good. <laughs> this is so tasty. I'm gonna get some soda. Wash it down. Awesome. Okay, on to question number two. Um, which, who is your favorite YouTuber? Emma Chamberlain, easily, no doubt about it. Emma Chamberlain is my number one favorite YouTuber. I'm in love with her. I'm in love with this woman, like everything about her, her fashion, her style, her food choices, um, where she loves to go, her hobbies, just, I love it. I'm in love with her. She's gorgeous. She's so sunny and she's so smart. And her podcast that I, anytime I'm driving somewhere, like anytime I'm driving somewhere, or going somewhere, especially like work, and I'm not feeling in the mood for music, I put on her podcast and it always lasts me like four car rides because I, my work, my home to work commute is 20 minutes. So her and her videos are 60 minutes long, her podcast. So I literally have three, you know, three that I listen to. So I have like three rides that I can listen to it. So I really, really love her podcast. It's so good. And just her in general, because she's amazing. And if you're not subscribed to her or in love with her, you're mistaken. So third question is which celebs do you hate? Um, I feel like I don't really hate anyone per se. Maybe like a strong distaste. I'm trying to think of anyone, like maybe from the Marvel or DCU, like actors. I'm trying to think of singers. I can't really think of anyone. I feel like in movies and stuff, I like know that a character is like, that a person is portraying a character. And then in like music, I don't, I don't really dislike anyone. So I feel like for that question, there's no answer because I don't this ice cream is so good and I'm almost done with it, which is so sad. 
I also have water. I'm not extremely unhealthy. I have it right there. My water's right here. I'm just there musting. Um, okay, so my question number four is what is your favorite show and why? I have a lot. I want to say Flash. The Flash is like my all-time favorite. I also like Arrow was good up until like season five, I think. I like DC Legends of Tomorrow. Jane the Virgin, so good. I'm trying to think of like good ones, you know? Jane the Virgin. Family Reunion. Ooh, One Day at a Time. Those are those are all good, so I feel like all of those are my favorite shows. Um, like as of right now. I also really like Kicking It and Lab Rats, but that's on Disney Plus and I'm broke, so. <sighs> Next question. Favorite color. My favorite color I have to say is either lavender. Um, I like olive. I like navy. Bright red. But I feel like lavender is like my number one. Does that make sense? Yeah, I love lavender. Next one is my favorite clothing brand. Let me eat a little bit of ice cream. Hold on. This ice cream is so good. Um, okay, and I'm also gonna unwrap this chocolate. This is a Russell something chocolate, but it's dark chocolate. Um, my favorite clothing brand would have to be... I don't really shop like major clothing brands, but if I did, I would have to say like, I don't know. I don't really know like what my favorite one would be. Vans, I guess, I feel like would be a good one because they have like clothes and shoes and stuff. So I feel like that would be the best one that I like choose out of everything. But I don't really know like a favorite clothing brand because I thrift a lot and like go secondhand shopping. So yeah, yeah, let's eat this chocolate because um, I don't want it to melt. I need some water because, oh boy, all this candy. I'm gonna have a sugar rush. Mm, that is good. Who's your favorite artist? Big music. So, I'm gonna eat another little egg. I'm thinking my favorite artist for music. Um, I love Khalid. Um, I also like James Arthur. So good. I'm totally... Louis Capaldi. I was forgetting his name. Love his music. I like 2019 and before, Sean Mendez. Um, I also like, um, SZA. Mm, I'm trying to think of what else. I like, uh, let me just pull up my Spotify so I can actually remember. I also like, oh, Conan Gray, Troy Sivan, Billie Eilish, Love, um, Phineas, Cape Town. Alex Siegel, Claro, Girls in Red, love Girls in Red, Ralph Costelli, super good, Lana Del Rey, uh, Dayglo, yeah, yeah, Frank Ocean, mm -hmm. I love 21 Pilots too, love, um, Joji, I have a lot of favorite artists, Harry Styles, um, I like The Romantics, I like royalty. Yeah, I know that was a kind of a lot, but those are like my favorite ones, you know what I mean? Um, and I'm feeling like maybe another little chocolate egg. Uh, so that was all my favorite artists, which is a lot. This one is a white chocolate egg, so it's like cookies and cream. I don't really like cookies and cream, so we'll see how this goes. Mm -mm. Cookies and cream is so gross to me. Don't like it. Mm. <sighs> Not fun. Blech. I didn't like that. Where do you live? 
So right now I live in Colorado. Depending on where I go to college, I'm either staying here in Colorado or moving to Los Angeles, which is kind of scary, but one of the two. And my family is gonna end up moving to Texas. So right now, or they might stay here, it depends, but right now it's all really up in the air. So we're just kind of deciding where we're gonna go. It literally makes me, my brain decompose. some soda to wash it down and then we'll move on to the next question our next question is any future plans this is also a very broad question because I do have a lot of future plans but it just depends on what you know happens what comes to fruition what doesn't but right now I think as of right now I'm gonna go to college and minor in business while also working on my YouTube channel and hopefully expanding and I want to become, you know, I want to become a social media influencer, obviously, if that's not possible, you know, because of certain things. If I don't open up a martial arts studio, I'll major in theater. And if I do open up a martial arts studio, I probably won't major in theater. But like I said, it's all really open-ended, open, like in the air, I guess. But what I really want to happen is to, you know, become a YouTuber and just have the time in my life, like spending time with you guys and, you know, doing whatever I want that makes me happy and you guys just tagging along for the ride because you guys are my besties so duh but that's really what I hope happens and I'm also planning when I'm older to move back in with my mom in Panama actually um, because we're in the United States obviously right now but I want to move in with my mom in Panama because she's buying off a house so I want to go I think I'm gonna end up living there like maybe later on in you know in life when I'm maybe like 30 or something I'll end up moving back in with her I think but that's as of right now what I'm thinking but I do want to live with her again because I love my mommy I'm such a mommy's boy such a mama's boy like I need my mom I cried yesterday for like three hours because I was like oh, my mom's gonna be in Texas and I'm gonna be here for college <laughs> so y'all already know how that went but yeah that's what I want to happen so hopefully it happens because I would be super happy you know being able to be with you guys and my mom and stuff like that so next question how many babies do you want I think I want three it depends okay so I've talked this out with my wife but I want twins I want twin boys so bad like I want twin boys so bad um I mean it runs in on my mom's side, her sister, so my aunt, gave birth to twins. And then my wife has, um, her uncle had twins. Um, hers were girls, mine's, mine, like my family's were boys. But I want twins so bad, but if that doesn't happen, ideally three kids. I don't want that many daughters, like I feel like I want one girl and two boys. Cause I grew up with three sisters and now I'm like, <laughs> no more girls, please. <laughs> but also men are trash. So it's really open in the air, but I want three. Next question is, how old were you when you had your first kiss? Let me drink some water and then I'll answer it. So I was not old. Because I've never had my first kiss. Pranked. You guys just got pranked. I've never had my first kiss. Which is so sad, but I literally have never had my first kiss since I'm 17. But it's because all of my relationships have never worked out. Like, they have only ever lasted three months. So, I'm waiting for the right person. But, funny story. I think it was, like, maybe my first relationship ever, actually. I got with this girl who is now, she's my best friend, like bestest friend, love her, in seventh grade. And we were dating and we dated for three months and we had a pair of friends who were also dating. And my girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend now, cheated on me with our friends, so the guy. And so my girlfriend and the other girl's boyfriend got together cheated on us and we were like <laughs> and then that was like ending seventh grade 
But then summer came around and I was like, mm, I don't care. And then we became besties. So now we're besties. And I'm so happy to be besties with her because she's the best. And her name is Alexa. And if you guys want to uh, subscribe to her, I'll put her channel as well as mine at the end of the video so you guys can go subscribe to her and it's also in my recommended channels on my youtube page so if you guys just go to my page you guys can look at it there okay so last and final question is who is your fit inspiration so i feel like it's only appropriate if we finish our ice cream for this last question it's so good but no more sugar for me for three months okay so my fit inspiration is very broad I have a Pinterest in my channel description and I'll leave the link below so you guys can go look at that. But I get a lot of my fit inspiration now off of Pinterest. So what I do is I have a board, obviously, and that's my fashion. And so I like mix and match pieces of certain outfits to make outfits. But also, when I first started out, I didn't really use Pinterest. Like a lot of it was just me. And I would just wear what I thought looked good, but also my style was really gross. And like when I first started, like being like aesthetic or whatever, but now it's a lot better. But obviously sometimes I still get like blocks of like, I don't know what to wear. I don't want to wear this. You know what I mean? So it really just depends, but I get a lot of it from Pinterest. And sometimes I don't even go on Pinterest and I'm just like, hmm, I think I want to wear this shirt and then I'm going to put on these pants and see if it looks good. And because my new mirror, I'm able to see much better what it looks like. Because I used to have to go into the, like, open the door to the bathroom and then climb on a stool to be able to see my feet and, like, the, my shoes and, like, what it looked like. But now, because of my big mirror, I'm able to, to do that, see my full outfit. But, yeah, I really just wear what I think is cool. Like, I want to do very, for me, I love, like skate style not street style because i feel like street style you need like it street style and skate style are very similar to me in the way that you know it's a lot of like loose clothes it can be a lot of loose clothes and like layers and stuff but for me the difference is the hats and the shoes i think and the accessories like if it's more street style you you'll wear more like pearls um fancy rings stuff like that um and a lot more cargo pants and for shoes for street styles also like Jordans stuff like that like very expensive shoes and for skate style it's more like vans low tops converse a lot more baggy clothing but it's not like cargo pants like it can be it can be cargo pants and jeans and just like hoodies or like graphic tees and beanies so it's like that's the you know that's a difference in my mind in my mind personally like for each thing so I like um skater style a lot more but obviously sometimes i still like it's very close like there's a very close line between skate and and street style so it's you know very fluctuating but that's what you know that's my inspiration so i really enjoy it i think we're all done with uh our you know ice cream and stuff so i had a lot of fun eating i feel kind of sick because that was a lot of candy and i don't usually eat that much like candy or sweets that fast uh, but it's okay. I'll just drink some water and I'll, I'll get over it. But I wanted to say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching my video. You guys have been rocking these past few videos. Like you guys have been liking it up and subscribing and commenting and watching it. And I'm so extremely thankful because, you know, I love doing this and it's so much fun to spend it with you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for everything that you guys are doing. You guys are supporting me so very good. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. But that being said, if you guys want to see more of me, make sure you go into my description down below and you'll see all of my socials. So I have my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter, and my Pinterest so you guys can see those fit and posts I was talking about. I don't post as much on Instagram, but I would start liking to, you know, start posting a lot more. Also, make sure you guys go watch my other videos. I'll make sure I leave, you know, banners and I leave my, my last video at the end of the video, of this video. But again, I wanted to say thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and you also hit the post notification bell so you guys don't miss any new videos that I upload. And so you guys get notifications every time I upload a brand new video. Again, I wanted to say thank you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys had a fun time. I hope you guys ate something tasty, something good for your little stummy. Just a little quick snack, you know, just a little quick chit chat and hang out with me. 
but next week I have something very special planned and I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it but I wanted to say thank you guys again so so much you guys are the absolute best and I will see you in the next video bye besties Thank you.